Hey, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and today we will show you how to burn ISO or ISO files on CD or DVD. So maybe you downloaded something from the internet, a software, a piece of uh, uh, maybe a movie or something that you have that's in ISO format and ISO is basically a file that has all the information necessary to recreate exactly an original CD or DVD disc. Now in Windows XP and uh, Windows Vista you needed a special piece of software to actually burn such a file but in Windows 7 they got it right. No special software is needed. All you have to do download your ISO file. I've got one here a little program called disk copy right there on the top of uh, on my desktop so you see here that says a disk image file. So it has to be a disk image file. All you have to do is put the right disk. So here this is for a CD. So I'll put a CDR inside my uh, drive. And once I have that uh, CD on my computer drive, all I have to do is double click the disk image file or the ISO file. And Windows 7 will immediately show you a little window for burning the files. All you have to do is select your drive. In my case, since I have only one, it's already selected for me. If you have multiple drives, like on a desktop, for example, just choose the right drive. And once it's done, all you have to do, click burn. Now you got a little option here that says verify disk after burning. Uh, that can be interesting if you're not sure or want to make sure that your copy, your disk is good, it's well written, you can actually put a little check mark into the verified disk after burning and it's going to do a second pass where it's going to check the data, make sure that everything's alright. And so just click the burn and uh, let the computer do uh, its job. Um, the time required for burning a disk uh, can be from anywhere from a minute or two on a CDR if the uh, file is not really big. Like on this case, you see it's going pretty fast because this is a small program. But if you're uh, burning a full DVD, um, 4.7 gigabyte, it can take um, up to a half an hour easily on uh, slower drives. So uh, as long as the little progression here, the little green progression is actually going through its space, uh, no problem, everything's going well. And so uh, at the end you'll see this little finalizing disk which means that it's actually um, writing everything that the disk uh, is uh, actually that's needed to uh, simply put the disk in the good format for that any computer can actually use it. And so this is really cool because uh, it was a little pain uh, in the butt to actually have these files um, that you needed special software and uh, you know you needed a piece of software to uh, actually burn ISO files and disk images so it wasn't cool now don't need anything it's already integrated in Windows 7 and here I'll close when it's finished you just close and if I put my disk inside I reinsert it um, I can check that the disk actually is uh, written and it's going to show up here DVD rewritable drive it should uh, show me information about my uh, disk and once it's inserted there we'll we'll see if uh, disk is uh, here we go so this is the disk that I uh, actually disk copy image home and this is the disk that I just uh, created with the uh, ISO file or the disk image that was on my desktop. So just download your disk image and double click and it's uh, just going to burn. One word of caution if you're using a special software like uh, Power Archiver for example. Power Archiver has the ability to um, view these files. So there might be a conflict sometimes with uh, programs such as um, Power Archiver or certain other programs. If you have, if it doesn't work like I, I just told you, uh, you can right click on the file 
and you will do uh, simply burn disk image. The first option there, burn disk image, it's going to show you the Windows, um, the Windows file burner actually is going to pop up the little window here. So if double clicking on the file is actually opening something else, just right click and click burn disk image at the top. So uh, hey, if you enjoy uh, computers, you have a Windows 7 computer and a Windows 7 computer and you want to learn more, just click the subscribe button. And um, if you have any comments, questions, maybe a feature you'd like to see reviewed from uh, Windows 7, let us know. We'll try to put a video online. And if you have any comments or questions, let us know. And I hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel. Bye-bye.